Hey everyone, today we're talking beauty subscriptions again. I feel like the last like three videos I've put up have revolved around beauty subscriptions, but they're so much fun. Today we're gonna be getting into my Birchbox and Ipsy for February. And once again, I've been trying out all of these products for you guys. Thank you so much for your feedback. I was so happy to hear that you guys liked this new format because I definitely do. So yeah, if you missed last month's video, I actually open my Birchbox and Ipsy when I get them and then I start trying every single product for you guys so I can tell you what I think in these videos. If you are unfamiliar with Birchbox or Ipsy, my links to sign up or just to get more info will be down in the description box, but let's go ahead and hop right into Birchbox. The box this month was really cute as always. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the color. It's like this tan coral color, but it has all of these super cute doodles of like all of these beauty products all over it. As far as the theme goes, I don't know. I don't really see one on the top of this card. It just says, what's the occasion? So I'm going with that. This is from a brand that I've gotten before, and this is the Malin and Goats Clarifying Clay Mask, and the full size is $48. When I first spotted this in the box, I was a little bit nervous, and I held off on using it for a little while because whenever it comes to these clay masks, I do have such dry skin. I feel like I'm saying that in every single video, but with these, they tend to dry out my skin and leave me with that really tight feeling after I rinse them off. With this though, once I got up enough courage to use it, I was really surprised at how less drying I thought it would be. Like this was not hydrating by any means, but it didn't leave my skin like horribly parched after I rinsed it off. As far as the texture goes, it's very, very thick. It has a very sandy texture, which at first I was like, oh no. But once I did use it and I let it dry on my skin for about the 10 minutes, that it says I really, really enjoyed how bright my complexion looked after I used this. I did feel like I had to use quite a bit to get it all over my face just because it is so thick, but I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And I don't know, I am somebody who I don't use exfoliating things a lot because I am on Retin-A. So with this though, I just feel like if I'm having a really bad skin week or something, I would totally reach for this. Getting into the next product it is this little lip balm right here. And this is the Aero Boost Color Enhancing Lip Balm and the full size is $14. This is the product that I chose from the email when I did get my little choice and this is also a Birchbox exclusive And this is also one of those lip balms that really starts out kind of clear I mean you can see it has like a little peachy pink look to it But it does change color based on the pH in your skin when I put it on my lips I thought it was very comfortable feeling it was one of those very very thick balms And I just remember putting it on looking in the mirror and I don't love cool pinks on me And I feel like that's exactly what this changed to once I had this on to for a couple hours. I didn't think it was the most comfortable thing in the world. It wasn't like a chapstick where it really moisturizes and then it kind of goes away. I did feel like this built up on the lips a little bit. But I do have a very, very funny story with this. Um, I had this in my car when I was testing it out for you guys and wearing it. And <laughs> I didn't know, but Jerome grabbed this because he thought it was a chapstick and we were like going somewhere and I looked at him I'm like, your lips look really pink today. <laughs> and he's like, I grabbed your chapstick in the car and I'm like, oh my gosh, that changes colors. And he was like super embarrassed and like really self-conscious and I'm like, Jerome, you can't even notice. But it was just really funny because it did change, I think more on him than it did on me. Next up is this detangling product from Parlor by Jeff Chastain, I believe. And this is the detangling leave-in conditioner in the full size is $24. Guys, I let you down on this one. I cannot believe that I just like completely have forgotten to use this. Like I have showered probably about five times since opening this and I've had it in my bathroom and every single time when I'm getting in the shower, I'm like, Lacey, you have to use this. And I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna forget. What do I do when I get out of the shower? I just go into my normal routine, use my normal detangler, and then I'm sitting there staring at this like, you've gotta be kidding me. So I am so sorry that I have not tried this product for you guys on my hair. I even showered last night because I had to use this and I still didn't. So I don't know what was up with me with this product this month, but this is a detangler, obviously, and I have my Healthy Sexy Hair Tri Soy Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. That is my all-time favorite. And and in the past, I haven't loved samples like this as much as that one, but it does smell nice, I'll give you that. It smells very clean and kind of cucumber-y, so I will be sure to try this for you guys and post about it on Instagram. So if you're not following me over there and you wanna hear about this product, make sure
sure you do, but it just says that it's supposed to moisturize, add shine, detangles, and it does protect from heat, which I think is very, very interesting. So yeah, stay tuned for this one. I'm so sorry. Coming into number four is a body wash, and this is from Not Soap Radio. That is the brand name. And this is just a body wash, and it says, I guess that it's in liquid fruit, I believe is how you say that, and the full size is $16. I ranked this at number four because I wasn't in love with it. I didn't love the scent and also how it acted on my skin, which we'll get to in a second. But I do love the packaging on this. I think the brand in general is so cute because on here it says that this is an emotional well-being bath and shower gel. And on the back it has this little paragraph about how to just get through your emotions and like what to do in the shower. So I'm going to quickly read it for you guys because I got a kick out of it. It says, when the road to emotional stability seems full of speed bumps and potholes, it's time to earn your own PhD in hydrotherapy. Forget singing in the shower, try a little talk. For each of your issues, ask yourself, how do you feel about that? What can I do to change it? At the end of the hour, emerge from the water clear headed and focused. I actually tried that and I thought it was really nice. The scent on this, it does say that it's coconut milk, mango, and vanilla. And I'm just not a huge fan of like any one of those. So even though it wasn't bad, it just wasn't up my alley. The only really bad thing about this was that I did use it in the shower once to like shave my legs and like wash my body and it left my psoriasis on my elbows a little bit inflamed. If you guys didn't know, I do struggle with psoriasis very rarely. I had it a little bit worse like a couple winters ago, but this winter it hasn't been so bad. But I have noticed that when I do use other body washes with a lot of fragrance, it does flare it up a little bit. So because of all of that and also I didn't feel like it had a ton of lather, I probably will be reaching for it a ton. I think I will try to use it up though when I shave my legs. And last but not least, this perfume, guys. Oh my gosh, I have not been able to stand the way this stuff smells. This is from Desine, I think, or something like that. And this is their winter perfume, and the full size is $95. I remember smelling this, I think, when I first got the box, and I don't remember hating it, but this morning as I was getting it ready, this was the first time I've actually put it on my skin. And guys, this smells like Christmas. Now I love Christmas, don't get me wrong, but with this, I couldn't stand smelling like this smells like I just couldn't stand it the notes in here are blue spruce black cardamom forest pine and fresh lavender and at first I was like oh I don't like it but I don't think it'll be too bad and then I was setting up all of my lights for this video and it is the only thing I could smell it was so bad where like my stomach kind of started to hurt and I had to scrub it off with a chipotle napkin <laughs> so yeah I feel like if this was in a candle and I had it like burning around Christmas time I don't think it'd be horrible but this is totally the opposite of what I want to smell like on an everyday basis. So that was everything in my birch box for this month and I wasn't totally thrilled with it. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Ipsy is really stepping up their game because wait till you see those products. But after just considering everything, I think I'm gonna have to give birch box a 4 out of 10. Moving right along to Ipsy, I feel like this video is almost the same as last month because I'm going to get very happy when I'm talking about these products. So here is the little Ipsy bag this month. I thought it was adorable. I saw it online like a little bit earlier and I'm like, like, oh my gosh, that looks so cute. It does have a little bit of texture on the front, but yeah, very unique this month, I think. Getting right into the one thing that I absolutely loved this month. I am wearing it on my eyelids right now. It is a pigment from Naked Cosmetics. It says on the bottom here that the shade is in Sierra Nevada, but guys, when I grabbed this for the first time and I saw it in my little bag, I'm like, oh no, I don't like pigments. They're so, so messy. But once I dipped my finger in this, this is the most beautiful, like, like sparkly eyeshadow I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I think it was last summer I got really into the Dior um, mirror shine eyeshadows because they were so sparkly but I don't know I think I just have a very soft spot in my heart for like these super girly fun shades. I love this. I honestly don't feel like this video or even the swatch is gonna do this enough justice because I just think that in person when you're like moving your eyes or like if you have it on and you're moving around the sparkle on this is so so pretty. I've worn this alone today. I do have it mixed with a little bit of like shadow in my crease for a little bit of definition but guys when I was getting ready with this this morning too I recently got some Mac fix plus because I've never owned that can you believe it and I foiled this 
and this is the most metallic in your face color I have ever seen this just has the best color payoff it's a really really nice subtle gold shade like when you wear it how I'm wearing it today but when you make it metallic you guys it is a beautiful rose gold next up is something from Smashbox and this was a very small sample that I was kind of like eh, about when I first opened the bag but I ended up really liking this as well this is their new photo finish primer oil and it's funny because I recently saw an article on Yahoo that was saying like the products that brands want you to think you need but you really don't and this was listed but guys I have been really really happy with this and it's really helped combat my dry skin this just came in this little bottle and it has absolutely no pump or anything this was super super messy until I figured out a little trick on how to get this on my face without making a mess so when I did use it for the first time I just poured it out I got way too much and I applied it to my skin but even using a little bit more than I typically would it didn't break me out or make me feel too oily or greasy in the directions it does say to apply this before bed and then also like under your makeup for me I have not worn this under my makeup just because I feel like I can make things slip around a little bit too much but I have been applying this at night and I've really loved it my little trick though to get this out if you guys got one of these or if you have a tiny one like this is I used a q-tip because it fit perfectly in there it like soaked up enough to like dot it around my face and then blend it in so that was a lot less messy but yeah I feel like this smelled amazing it went into my skin really nicely even though it does have that oily feel I didn't feel like it was anything too heavy and it really really helped combat the very dry skin that was really flaky around my chin so I was really happy to see that next up is this little lip gloss from a brand I've never heard of and this is from vintage by Jessica Libeskind I think is how you say it and the shade let me see here is in pink sequin I've had such a hard time saying pink sequin when I first opened this up I was like oh my gosh that is like chock full of glitter I'm not quite sure how I feel about it but I feel like the overall look of it is super beautiful will I ever wear this on its own probably not I've really been wearing it just in the center of my lips like I'm doing today and today I do have it paired with bite beauty's vigne which I feel like is a perfect match I just think the two go so well together as far as the swatch goes though it is a very light pink it doesn't have a ton of color payoff but what you really notice is that golden shimmer and I do feel like this is very comfortable like with the amount of shimmer in there I'm like okay I'm not quite sure how that's gonna wear but when I've been wearing it in the center of my lips today I don't notice it at all as far as the applicator goes though it is one of those that is made with a lot of bristles which I don't tend to love just because I feel like when I take it out and I put it back in a lot the bristles could go everywhere like if I don't get it in there perfectly but so far it hasn't really created any trouble number four is this exfoliating cleanser I feel like I've been getting so many exfoliating products but this is from look natural BFF best face forever exfoliating daily face wash and it says on here that the scent is peppermint grapefruit oil and aloe vera and I definitely thought that this had a very citrusy scent this again was one of those that I was very hesitant on using but once I used it I was pretty happy with it even though it did dry my skin out a little bit more than that mask the texture on this though is really nice you definitely do get that peppermint scent but as far as the little beads in this go they are a lot more fine than even the ones in that mask now usually when I wash my face I use like a facial cleansing towelette on my skin before I go into washing just to remove a lot of the makeup first but when I'm trying out new ones I don't typically do that because I want to see how well it cleanses my skin so with this I didn't do that I thought it did a very very good job I mean it literally got off I feel like every single bit of makeup that was on my face and after I rinsed it off I did still feel very very cool but my complexion again looked really really bright but after I did rinse this off though I was left feeling like I needed more moisture kind of a Immediately. It wasn't anything too too bad at all but yeah I just felt like it dried out my skin a little too much and last but not least is very sadly a nail polish and I hate including this last because the formula was incredible I just don't feel like the color really did anything for my skin tone so this is from a brand called trust fun beauty and the shade on this is I'm kind of a big deal when I first looked at this I'm like oh my gosh that's so pretty it's a really nice mauvey dusty rose mixed with like a little bit of like a bubblegum pink I thought that this would be beautiful on my fingers as far as the formula goes though guys when I painted my nails with this a couple days ago the formula was like one of the best I've ever tried it was super creamy super opaque it has one of those kind of flatter brushes which I love because I really can coat the nail well and yeah I got away with one coat on this guys and I've had very minimal chipping within the two or three days I've been wearing it but as I've been looking down at my hands for like the few days I've had this on I just don't love it for whatever reason and I really can't put my finger on it I think it's just because 
does and maybe with my fair skin it blends in so much I don't know I just haven't been a huge fan of it but because I like the formula I do think I'm gonna look into the brand a little bit just to see what other colors they have and maybe this will work a little bit more for me in the summer when I have a tan so that was everything in my ipsy bag and after looking over everything I do think ipsy is the winner with an 8 out of 10 so that's everything that I got in my beauty subscriptions for February and if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to let me know what you guys got in your bags or boxes down below if you guys have a little bit more time here on YouTube I'll go ahead and link a few of my other recent uploads down below as well as in that little playlist if you click that I and I always forget what side it's on but yeah last week's video was really really fun thank you guys so so much for giving me all of the kind words in the comments because I had a blast doing last week's video it has to do with beauty subscriptions and some of the products that I've gotten through say Birchbox and Ipsy that I've really stuck with and that have become my holy grail so I think you guys will love it if you did miss it but other than that I hope you guys have a great rest of your day thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you next time bye